everyone. So today I am going to be doing a haul for you guys. Um, I'm not going to title this a fall haul because um, the things in it are kind of random. Um, they're, I mean, I guess it is kind of a fall haul, but um, I don't know. I'm not, like some of this stuff I got like for summer next year, so I don't know. Um, it's very random. So um, as you can see behind me, I have a ton of stuff. Um, well, at least in my eyes, like, I feel like it's a bunch of stuff, so, um, I'm not even going to make this a long intro, but, um, yes, I have several stores, and it seems like it's a lot, but a lot of the stores I've gone to, like, two or three times in the past, like, ever since the last time I've done a haul, um, and that would have been, I did that, like, I got, I paid how much and got all that, like, I, that was my title, um, that was more of like just a one store haul, but the last time I did like an actual haul was like back in September. And, um, so yeah, it's not all from that one, but there's a lot of stuff that I got in like the beginning of October. So, like I said, not a long intro, let's get started. The first place I'm going to start off with is Bath and Body Works. Now, I went here twice. So, the first place, or the first time I went, um, I only picked up three things. Um, it was a really random night and I didn't have any homework or anything and I didn't have any meetings so I was like you know what I'm gonna go do Bath and Body Works so Chris and I went and of course I went in there and all their fall candles were 50% off so um, I actually only bought two candles surprisingly um, I'm the type of person that when it comes to candles I don't like to stock up unless it's for like that next season so like I'll buy like five or six fall candles in the summer and then that's all I'll buy because I don't want to you know I don't want to stock up on them because I don't have enough room in this apartment to be stocking up stuff so yes I got two candles and they're the same ones so I'm just going to pull them out of here and I got two of the white barn leaves candles now if I'm wrong please tell me that these smell a lot different than the Slatkin and Co because I think they do so, um, yes, I got this one. Um, these are the only leaves ones that they carried at the moment. They didn't have the regular one. But, I don't know. It just smells different. It, I mean, it's like the same scent, but I think the other one is a little stronger. So, two leaves candles. So, they were $10 each. So, basically, two for 20 The next item is actually down in my car at the moment. It is a car freshener. And they're those little ones that have, like, the little animals on them. And then you put, like, the incense in them. Um, I actually got a pink skunk and her name is Sheila. So yes, um, I, I Instagrammed a picture of her and I bought two of the um, scent portable fragrance refills and I got two leaves. Um, leaves is my absolute favorite scent no matter what time of the year. So um, I bought two of these and these were like a dollar fifty each because they were 50% off and then Sheila was like two bucks I want to say. So, everything was really, really inexpensive. So then the next time I went to Bath & Body Works was probably about a week ago. And I went in looking for another sale, like more sale items for fall, and all their Christmas stuff was in. And I was dying. I was like, yes, more Christmas scents. Like, I love it. Um, I'm not one to get too ahead of myself, though, when it comes to Christmas and decorating. Like, I just, I like to enjoy one holiday at a time. Um, I always say I like to be thankful thankful before I am jolly. So, um, I got only three candles from Bath and Body Works this round. And these were ones that, like, I, I was going to burn first. And then there's a few other ones that I, were, I was kind of like, eh, maybe I'll get them, maybe I won't. So, um, the first one I got is Peppermint Mocha. And the packaging is so adorable. I mean, you cannot beat that. I think it's adorable. So, smells so good. So peppermint mocha is described as treat yourself to the fragrance of one of one winter's sweetest pleasures. Peppermint, vanilla cream, and cocoa topped with marshmallows. Um oh, so good. So so good. So it says lift here for a holiday recipe. So I'm assuming they're gonna show you how to make these. So I'm gonna lift really quickly. Oh, shut up. It does. Too cool. So it shows you how to make peppermint mocha bark. How cool. That's really neat. I never, like, I didn't, like, look at this until I'm, like, reading it to you guys right now. I might 
do it a do it yourself on that. Show you how to show you guys how to do that. <gasps> yeah. But I'm I'm kind of nervous for this candle because of the simple fact that I feel like cocoa, like stuff like this, sweet stuff, burns too sweet. So I'm kind of nervous, but I will definitely tell you guys if this burns well. The next one I got is probably going to be my absolute favorite winter candle. Leaves is my all-time favorite fall, basically all year round candle, but for sure, Twisted Peppermint is going to be my favorite one for um, winter. Oh my gosh, like, it's so pepperminty and, like, that's like basically what it is. So, Twister Pe Twisted Peppermint is described as a fragrance featuring merry and bright peppermint with touches of vanilla and sugary musk in the perfect combination perfect combination for a very snowy day. Oh my god. I'm so excited. Like, oh, it smells so good. Like, oh my gosh. Like, you just breathe it in and it, like, opens up your senses. So, I'm excited for this one, um, for sure. And I like it because it's blue. Like, I don't know. I just think this is really, really cute. I've never seen a blue candle from Bath and Body Works. So. And then the last one is kind of different. This one I wouldn't categorize as a winter smell, I would more so say this is like a summer smell. So this is Sparkling Icicles. Now, it smells like my boyfriend. Like, he wears uh, light blue. I don't know who that's by, but oh, it smells like a boy. So Sparkling Icicles is what the packaging looks like. It's really cute. And Sparkling Icicles is described as a sparkling and luminescent as icicles on a tree under a winter's moon. This fragrance combines moss, bergamot, with the perfect finishing touch, a citrus bouquet. Oh, this is going to be phenomenal to burn. Like, I have, I'll probably burn this in Chris's room because his room, he's a boy, so it stinks, but, um, yeah, this is going to be awesome. I will tell you guys probably on Instagram. Uh, I'll tell you a picture of them, and then I'll tell you guys what I think of it, um, and if I recommend going out and buying them. But so far, I recommend going out and buying all of these. I mean, they smell fabulous without even being burnt. Okay, the next place I went is Charlotte Roos, and I love Charlotte Roos. I think it's a great store. You find great stuff for a very low price. Um, I actually ended up just going in there to go look. I don't know. That's my bad thing with shopping. I always just go in to look. I only picked up one thing surprisingly. Um, they had a lot of cute stuff, but I just, I looked at it and I thought, I just don't need it. So, um, I did come across one thing that I was in love with, and it is this infinity scarf. What I love about this infinity scarf is, one, it's an infinity scarf. Um, two, it has like this really stretchy material, and the pattern on it is really cool. It's like a ripply kind of effect, and this thing's huge. I mean, it's ginormous, and I just, it's so soft, and what I also liked about it is the price. All scarves at Charlotte's right now are $5, at least it's the one in mine. So I definitely went and picked this up. Um, I love this royal blue color. Um, I went to the Michigan basketball game last night, and I, like, um, I bought this first, and then I'm looking for something to wear, and Chris goes, why don't you wear your new scarf? And I was like, oh, hello, yeah, Michigan blue kind of thing, so yeah got this. Um, they had some other ones that I really liked, but I just have so many scarves I just don't need to buy anymore. Um, you guys will start seeing more of them as the winter months go on, and all of the colors that they had were just like plain Jane. They had a mint one that I liked, but I just, it wasn't worth it, but this one I just was like in love with, because I don't have a dark blue one, so this was totally worth it. The next place should not come as a shocker to you guys. It is Ulta, and I'm just obsessed with Ulta. Um, it's my new, it's my new faith store. So I went twice, and the first time um, I had gone in there, this is the night that I went to Bath and Body Works for the first time. Um, and so I picked up a few items. Uh, let me reach in my bag of goodies. So I'm gonna get prices out too because I'm not quite sure some of these. So the first two things when I walked in was two nail polishes, and these are by OPI, and they were having a sale, it was like two for twelve, which is decently good, you save like four bucks, um, and I got these two colors. The first color that I have 
is um, Designer De Better. Yeah, Designer De Better. And this is a very shimmery gold with flecks of red in it. So I really like this for like the winter time. I think it's really pretty for like a holiday party or whatnot. And then the next one I have is um, It's My Year. And this is a purple color with flecks of gold in it. So yeah. These two and these were two for 12. So that was a really good deal I felt like. The next two products um, that I have are different. I've never tried them before. And this is Not Your Mother's. And this is Way to Grow Long, Long and Strong Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, I've been looking for something to grow my hair out. I love my Pantene Pro-V with the blonde. I've talked about that in my favorites. Um, but I just want something that would grow my hair out. I just, I really want my hair to grow without having to put my extensions in. So, this is um, Not Your Mother's. And it says longer hair, faster strengthens hair, anti-breakage formula. I've noticed since I've used this um, that my hair has been growing a little bit. I mean, it's not like it's down to my back, but um, it's been a lot healthier. So, yes, I really, really like this. And I want to say these were $5.99 a piece, so it's not bad. Um, 6 bucks for both of these, that's not bad at all. So... I highly recommend these if you want to grow your hair out. Um, I love the packaging. I think it's so so modern and so cool. So yeah. On my second trip to Ulta, I got just one product. Um, I watched Beauty Baby 44, and she has dark circles in her eyes. Like not like too too bad. Not as bad as mine. But she uses Benefit Lemonade, and this is the first Benefit product I've ever purchased, and so far I love it. So what Lemonade is, it's a color correcting eyelid primer base correction. And the packaging is just absolutely adorable. And then it comes in a little case like this, and then comes like this, and it's yellow. And you just take your, um, like a ring finger and you dab it and then you put it underneath your eyes. Oh, it's so awesome. Like, I'm so good. And this is, um, it was $20, but, it, like, the amount that you use is, like, going to last you forever, I feel like. So while I was also at Ulta, um, I got a sample, and I got, um, Eyes It's Potent Eye Benefit Cream, and this is a under eye cream, and I've been using this like crazy. I, like, I'm in love with this stuff. So this is what the little sample bottle looks like. It's really big, actually. And it is just this cream-like consistency. And I take my e.l.f. Um, professional concealer brush, which is a little, little tiny brush, and I just dab on the side, and I put it underneath my eye circles, um, underneath my um, eyes and under my dark circles, and I just rub it in. And this is day and night. Um, and so far my under eye circles have gone away, um, are like, are starting to, so we'll see, like, in the next month, um, how well this is going to work. The next store I went is Icing, and I really like Icing for their, their jewelry and hair accessories. Um, nothing, like, I only have two items, but the first one I have for you guys is this really pretty necklace. Oh, I have it backwards. Really pretty necklace. It's a statement necklace and has gold and white in it. And it's just flowers and some some beads in it. And I got this for $2. So, I guess it is very, very cute. Um, I don't know. I'll probably wear this with, like, either, like, a black top or um, something that this will, like, stand out against. So yeah, I really, really like this. And I like the little gems on it. It gives it a little bling. And then the next item is something a little different for me. Um, I was going to be this for Halloween, but I decided not to. I'm going to save it for next year. So I'll save this next year probably. And it is a mermaid. And I bought this really pretty mermaid headband. Um, it's not a mermaid head, but it's a starfish. And mermaids, sea, starfish, they all go together. Um, and this was also $2. So um, yeah, bargains, bargains, bargains. And so, yeah, I just really like this. I like how it's all pearled out, and um, I just love their headbands. They're really comfy, and they have, like, these on it so they don't, like, push against, but I like it. The so next place is Target. Oh, I just love Target. So, um, I did a lot of this shopping, like, I want to say, like, two weeks ago. Like, it was, like, 
for like a week before my favorites video. So I kind of lied in the beginning. I, I'm just like remembering when I got all this stuff because I went all in one night, I feel like. So, with that being said, I got quite, right now, I got a few things. This first thing is, and I've never seen this before, this is a 14 patient piece nail polish set from e.l.f. for only $10. Um, I thought this was kind of cool. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep this. I was looking at my collection and I'm like, I have a lot of these colors. I just don't know if I'm going to wear them and if they're the good quality. Like, I swatched some of them, but um, they're just not my fave. And for $10, like, you can buy a lot with $10. So, not quite sure if I'm going to keep this. I mean, it has a really good variety of colors. You have, like, darker, you have, like, a deep blue, grays. Um, a reddish gray, a purple, some gold, some reds. Um, you have some like sparkly ones, and then you have like a like a white topish color, and some bluish gray. So yeah, um, I like it. I just you know, we'll see. We'll see. The next one is something that I've already been using. A lot of these products I've already used, just for the simple fact that I've had them for so long that I didn't want to have them sit there. I bought them for a purpose. But the next one I have is Clean and Clear Essential Deep Cleaning Toner. Um, and I love this stuff. I mean, it's, I, it's almost the same stuff as my Equate because it is a... Um, it, it's a ac acid acne medicine. treats and helps prevent pimples. This was... Um, three something and at other places I'm seeing for like seven dollars so try to get it the cheapest I could and so far I really, really like it. And then I bought two blushes so this completes the L Studio collection. Um, I bought every single one of them. So the first one I have is um, Mellow Mauve and this is a more bronzy color. Um, it is definitely if I don't want to have, look I have a ton of makeup on and I want more of a um, just a more of a natural look so it's on that finger nothing too like out there it's um it looks like it's a matte color yeah once you get past like the top layer of it it looks like it's pretty much a matte color um it might have a little bit of shimmer in it but it's not like too too bad and the next one i have for you guys is fuchsia fusion and this is definitely okay i thought this was going to be definitely more of a um like a winter plummy type color but it's so shimmery like you it's insane so let me so yeah it's so like summery I probably won't wear this until summer but it was very very pretty and I like it a lot and then on my next trip to Target I got two items and the first thing I got was these fuzzy socks and I love fuzzy socks like I have makeup all over my fingers. Oopsie. But, um, yeah, I got these, and I just love fuzzy socks. They're so comfortable. And these ones are, like, a cream color with a taupe stripe pattern on them. So, yeah, and I want to say these were, like, $4. And these are the, the crew neck ones. Or crew neck. The crew ones. And then the last one I got from Target, last item I got from Target is a waterproof eyeline pen from e.l.f. Um, this... I've been looking for like a belt tip pen that was just like kind of normal. Like I don't wear liquid eyeliner that much. So um, I thought I'd just try this. And I'm not a big fan of waterproof, but that was the only one they had. So we'll just try it out. And if anything, it was only a dollar. Okay, I have one more store and then one other thing. Um, and I, it's from JCPenney. Ooh. So I went to JCPenney twice. And, um, the first time I went, I got this pretty top and it's all sequins it's cream and a bronze like color with some cap sleeves on it and I paid the $3.50 for this so they have a whole bunch of clearance right now but I like sequins and then this one you guys have seen I just did an outfit of the day with it it's my geometric like shirt and it has like the cap sleeves again and it's flowy and silvery it has yeah, it's like silver threads uh, strung throughout it I got this beautiful tank top that's like this caramel like color with these little dots on it and it has like some blue thrown in there and it has like buttons all down the back so yeah 
Um, I'll probably pair this with like a, a bronze like cami or a bandeau or something like that. And the last one I got is probably my favorite shirt. And it is this purple long sleeved um, peplum shirt. And I love this color. It's so pretty. Um, and this is great for like work and everything. And then the next time I went to JCPenney, I went back and bought the black one of that peplum shirt. So yeah, I got this. I got the peplum and it's just black. I just thought they were great for work. And then the last thing that I got is from my mom. And since I could not be with them on Halloween this year, um, because usually it falls on a weekend, well it has ever since I've been at college, um, she sent me a care package and it came in this little kind of narrow box and yes I know it's an ink box. So she sent me um, a few things of Halloween popcorn, but she knows how much I love popcorn. She sent me a Subway gift card because she knows that I absolutely love Subway and she's like, go eat a sandwich. So um, <laughs> that's what she, no literally, that's what she wrote on there, eat a sandwich. So then the last thing, of course, is Halloween candy. Yay! Um, they did not have a lot of trick-or-treaters this year, so that means I got the rest of it. Well, not the rest of it, but I got, I got a few handfuls of it, so... Yes, thank you, Mom. So that is it for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry about the length. I feel like my videos are always very lengthy, but, um, I mean, there's nothing I can do. I'm kind of a chatterbox. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you have any video requests, please leave them in a comment down below. Also, make sure to like this video, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!